Hi guys, this is Mia from Mimo Design Base Files. Today I will teach you how to create your own monogram using the Laser Picker Design Studio. If you want to master this in Lightburn, please let me know because then I will be making a new tutorial on how to do that. If you want to learn, it's really easy. Stick around and watch this video. I am now in the science space and the monogram we are going to make is this. You can, of course, uh, enter your own letter. This is mine for Monsen, which is my last name. So it's actually really, really simple. Uh, you don't need to connect your laser. Mine is not connected and I am doing this from a computer. You can do it from the iPads or app version on your phone as well. First of all, you want to take an ellipse. If you hold down your control key, sorry, the shift key, it will be perfectly round. I can just remove this one that I already made. Might make more sense if I do it in here. Now that you have your circle, it's time to decide what size you want it. I know that I'll be using mine for key change and such, so I want mine to be 4 centimeters. Once you have the size, you hit fill. Now it's all black. Go ahead and make a new circle. Again, hold down your shift and it will be perfectly round. And now you want to decide how much of an offset you would like. My First circle was four centimeters, and I think I'll go ahead and make an offset on three millimeters. So I'll make this one 37. And if I click both, I can align to center. When you have them aligned, I actually think I'll go a little smaller on this one. As long as your aspect radio is locked, you can just use the keys here, it is now aligned. Once you are satisfied with the thickness of your border, you click the one that you had set to line, snap it in the middle here and hit fill. You can't see much, but if I mark both of them, they are here. Go to combine and click subtract selection. Now you ended up with this. Right now it is set to line. In theory, you would cut this out of frame if you were to cut it, but I want it to be in gray, so I will hit fill. And now it's just a matter of adding your text. So click text and click the middle here. And you can choose, let's just take a B instead of the M. Select it. If you click outside your workspace and then click it again, you can mark it. Again, I will lock the aspect radio so I don't distort it. And then you can scale it up to whatever size you want. A letter like B will go a little over the edge here. If you are using this font, you can change your fonts. You can also change the style of it. Maybe I should go ahead and this is all my computer fonts that you also see in here. You could pick this one and if you mark both, align to center, it's perfectly aligned. And it's ready to engrave. That's really it guys. I hope you liked this little video. Please give it a like if you did and also subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications and let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to teach, show or tell you about. And it doesn't have to be for laser picker exclusively. I do a bunch of light burn tutorials, finishing tutorials and everything else. Have a really nice day and I hope to see you soon.